All right, what is up, guys? It is Josh back with another video. Today's video, I actually have a Fortnite tutorial for you guys, but you can actually use it in another sense if you want to use it in content editing or something like that. I'm actually going to be showing you how you can do a 0% Twixter velocity slowdown, and that was a super long thing to say. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to be showing you in this video. It's pretty much a velocity for like Fortnite edits or just general edits where it goes, you know, slow, fast, and then slows eventually down to 0%. It's used commonly in Fortnite highlights nowadays, but I'm going to be going over that in Adobe After Effects. For actually into the video though, I just want to say about 70% of you guys who watch my videos are not subscribed to the channel yet, so make sure to drop a sub, it's 100% free for you guys to do, and you can change your mind at a later date. But with that being said, I hope you guys do enjoy the video, and I will see you guys on my PC. Alright, the first thing you want to do guys is you're just going to go into your After Effects and just make it a little new composition right here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to wherever we have our music saved to. So for me, I'm just going to go over to my music folder, and I'm going to look up the song Cold World. Um, by Eric Rapid. It's kind of an old song. So we're actually just going to drag that in right here into our media pool. And then from there, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to find a uh, folder where I have, let's say, these clips. So we'll just drag in this one right here. Uh, credit tracks for, for these clips, by the way. And then what we're going to do is we're going to actually open up our song in the timeline by pressing L on our keyboard twice. And this is a bit too loud. So we're actually just going to adjust the volume of our After Effects. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the main beat. I'm literally just gonna add a marker to that, and that's what we're gonna be working around. So, and then we'll just trim off the rest just like that. So, that's all we have right here. Uh, from there, all we gotta do is we're just going to drag in our clip right here. So, actually, we're gonna preview it first. We're gonna actually find the part where we get the kill, we're gonna trim it after the actual kill. And then we're going to just kind of cut it before and then drag it in. And we're going to line up the kill where we actually get the markers. Or not the markers, the pellets to actually hit on this marker on our song. We're just going to drag it out on either side just like this. And then we're just going to add a marker using whatever keybind you use normally for adding a marker in your After Effects. From there, all we're going to do is we're just going to go to our effects and presets right here, and we're actually going to find Twixter. So um, I'll have a tutorial or something linked down below in the description or Twixter's website. There are ways that you can get it for free. I'm not allowed to tell you, but if you're smart enough, I would tell you to look on YouTube, but I'm not uh, directly telling you to do that. I'm saying if you're smart enough, you would look on YouTube. And then we're going to find the part that we want it to end at. So it's going to be this point right here, just because it's a little clap at the end. I've figure it's like a good point to hold off on so what we're going to do now is we're just going to uh, make sure we have our frame rate set to 60 we're going to keyframe our speed so we're going to see he opens the wall right here so we're going to keyframe our speed the frame that he actually opens the wall fully so we're going to drag that frame right there we're going to go one frame after we're going to change the speed to 50 percent and then we're going to go about five frames before this one two three four five keyframe it on 50 percent again then we're going to go to the kill and we're just going to slide this along until it actually gets the kill right here. So for me, it's 590%. We're going to go two frames after change the speed back to 50. And then what we're going to do is at the very end, we're going to change the speed to zero. And I'll show you what that looks like. That's pretty much that guys. Uh, all you got to do from there is add your impact and your sound effect. So for me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to like my sound effect folder right here. I'm gonna find my spaz shot. We're gonna do this. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add an adjustment layer by pressing Control Alt Y. And I'll have this preset in the description. It's for a nice little impact for your actual montages. And we're going to go find it by going to our presets folder, impacts, drag, or not drag, apply it through our preset menu press you and our keyboard to actually bring up the keyframes here give it a second to load and then we're just going to select all these right here and drag them one frame before and then we're also going to expand this one i don't know why that one's messed up but that's pretty much that it's uh it's pretty simple it's a zero percent slowdown and uh the only thing you really need is to actually get twixter on your pc and get going in your after effects i hope you guys did learn something though it was a bit of a short tutorial but like comment subscribe and i will see you guys in a new video on the channel peace out